Natalie Dormer shines in her new Showtime TV series, Penny Dreadful City of Angels. It's a dream to have to play four roles in one show for any actor, and she did not disappoint. Let's break down her four faces and powers. Magda is the main character and antagonist of the show. Being the demon-shaped shifter that she is, Magda is a metaphor for the darker side of men's souls, meaning mankind will always choose the more selfish option. A concept that led to her opening line on episode 1, all mankind needs to be the monster he truly is, is being told he can. Magda is her true and natural form and she's known to be um, a chameleon and very clever. She has a strong hatred towards mankind and thinks that they are all monsters and that's what she wants to bring into the surface. Her powers include pyrokinesis, which allows her to control fire. This is how she set fire in the field, killing Tiago Vega's dad. As for shape-shifting, she can take any appearance she likes, change her hair, eye color, etc. That is how she created her three other personas, which we will now discuss. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think later on as we go see uh, the later episodes, they will reveal more of her powers and skills. Now moving on to her next persona, let's talk about civil servant Alex. She is an assistant to Councilman Charlton Townsend, has gray hair with big round glasses and a bit more masculine, and a character you will never imagine Natalie Dormer play. Alex also has Nazi connections and seems to be a big influence towards the councilman's decisions. This character is also the most stripped down, no makeup, and they even made her eyes look more dull. Now, what really amazes me here is Natalie Dormer's versatility as an actress and her impressive change of accents. I mean, come on, that's a skill not everyone can do. I think here as Alex, she has more of an American accent if I'm not mistaken. Next up is German housewife and refugee from World War I, Elsa. Here she does a German accent which shakes me to my core. She also has Nazi contacts, seems to be a more delicate character but ambitious. Her objective right now is to seduce his son's doctor. Of course, she has a bigger role to play towards Magda's plan which we'll eventually know. Lastly, we have red-headed bisexual ringleader of Chicano gang called Pachucos, Rio. She suits up with a more masculine, androgynous style. She's known to be a freedom fighter and her gang is connected to some murders that the LAPD is investigating. Now those are all the four faces of Natalie Dormer in Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Of course, we all know that these four personas will work together towards Magda's plan and what that is is something intriguing that we should all watch out for. Now this plotline really reminds me of season 3 of Westworld's plot where um, Dolores made other Doloreses in the form of other human beings and human faces and it really mirrors this plotline here in Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Now uh, episode 1 is a bit boring for me, it's a bit too long and it took me some time to really appreciate it and know what I'm watching because I wasn't familiar of the Penny Dreadful storyline prior to this. Now which faces of Natalie Dorman do you guys like the most? Which character, which uh, persona do you resonate with the most? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.